welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Kevin Hongwei, who is from Ants Financial Services in China. Mr. Hongwei, welcome to the studio. Yeah, my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a question that I've been asking a lot of people who've been sitting in that chair there. What will it take for the world's poorest people to prefer digital financial services over cash? Uh, yeah, it's uh, very related to advantages of uh, DFS. Actually, firstly, uh, DFS can break through the limitation of uh, time and uh, space. The people, uh, especially the poorest people in rural area, can access financial services uh, only with a mobile device. device. So. Um, it can enlarge the uh, financial service s uh, scope. And uh, meanwhile, the um, D DFS can also uh, you know, uh, decrease the handling fee. Yeah, it's uh, very important. For, for example, uh, the uh, poorest people in rural area usually get uh, the uh, social welfare. And uh, in traditional way, uh, there will be very high uh, handling fee. So the recipient can only get the part of the social welfare. But in DFS way, the people uh, can get uh, all the money from the government without uh, any loss and with very high e efficiency. Yeah, it's a very good uh, thing for the poorest people. How do you see the fintech sector reshaping uh, digital financial services? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, as we, we know, the um, financial ser services mainly depend on the uh, underlying uh, infrastructure, which is uh, sh shaped by the technologies. Currently, the fintech can provide a lot of uh, innovative te technology for the uh, underlying infrastructure. And uh, the innovative te technology not only uh, accelerate uh, financial services, but also can create new uh, financial services. There are two examples from uh, Alipay. The first one is uh, the cross-border remittance from Hong Kong to Philippines. And uh, the uh, blockchain just uh, transfer the uh, remittance information to the uh, Philippines from Hong Kong and the local bank just uh, trusts uh, this information and uh, can deliver the money, the cash, to the recipient account directly. It's the first uh, example. The second example about uh, the uh, QR code scanning. And uh, the merchant just uh, have a QR code on the paper and uh, the user just can scan the QR code to proceed the payment with uh, very high efficiency and a low cost. Yeah, it, it's uh, some example of what about, this. What about authentication? Uh, can, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about, uh, I understand that Alipay has got some technology yeah. for strong authentication. Yeah, uh, actually it's a very good question for me and I just want to introduce the uh, uh, Alipay authentication using IFA standards. There are two aspects. The first aspect, uh, IFA is a set of uh, standards and uh, specify the end-to-end uh, -end authentication scheme. And uh, the security is the most important point of this uh, IFA, in including the uh, security of terminal, security of uh, connection, and the security of uh, identification. So it's a very important part, which have been implemented in Alipay authentication platform. The second way is uh, IFA is uh, very easy to integrate it into the um, uh, existing unified comprehensive uh, authentication platform. There are also some uh, password-based uh, authentication, token-based uh, authentication, and also, and uh, which can be controlled by user configuration and uh, also risk control. If the authentication is uh, suspicious, then will be some, uh, maybe a two-factor authentication will be used uh, or even more. So 
That's uh, our authentication based on IFA specifications. Uh, and finally, uh, what contributions can uh, Alipay make for Fiji and other international organizations such as ITU and World Bank? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest uh, contribution for Fiji, ITU and the World Bank should be the uh, practical exper experience from uh, Alipay. Currently, uh, Alipay have uh, over 870 million users so far and a lot of uh, sophisticated uh, application scenario. And meanwhile, uh, Alipay also is a fintech company and uh, there are a lot of uh, in innovative technology and fintech experience. Both of them uh, can be uh, contributed for the uh, ITU, Fiji, and the World Bank. And uh, we just uh, want our contribution be helpful for the um, financial inclusion and uh, also so much more people, especially the people in need. Yeah. Kevin Holloway, well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. And we look forward to catching up with you again at uh, some stage in the future, too, hopefully. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.